Hey guys, Amanda here today with three tips to share with you when um, picking out a hiking specific net gaiter or also known as a buff. Um, so first and foremost, you want to decide on your neck gaiter's designated purpose, mainly whether or not you're intending this piece of gear to serve as protection from extreme hot temperatures or cold temperatures, because there definitely are gaiters designed for either or. Um, their neck gaiters are a great way to protect your neck, face, and ears from the weather, but you want to ensure that you're protecting it from the right kind of weather. Some are designed as thermal insulators, where others are designed to keep you cool. And those that are designed to keep you cool can often also offer a level of UV protection for hot weather specific hiking. Tip number two, you want to decide how you're going to wear your buff and how much facial coverage you'd like your buff or neck gaiter to provide. In general, they are designed to fit around your neck, on your head, or over and or over your mouth. Um, they're kind of multi-purpose in that they can function as a headband, a bandana, a baklava, and also fit under a helmet if you are um, looking for something to uh, keep your head a little bit warmer beneath a helmet. Uh, finally, you want to choose the appropriate material. Um, many neck gaiters are made from a polyester fleece type material, which offer um, a high level of warmth and comfort. Um, some also have a chin cord feature designed to help hold the heat in, which can be an added bonus if you're looking for something extra warm. Um, for windy conditions, they also design uh, fleece material to be um, specifically wind resistant. So if you're looking for primarily wind resistance, you may want to look for a material designed for that purpose in particular. Uh, quickly to recap, uh, three tips I have for you for choosing a hiking specific neck gaiter and or buff. Uh, tip number one is to decide on its designated purpose, um, mainly whether or not you intend on using it to protect you from extreme hot or extreme cold temperatures. Next, you want to decide how much facial coverage you'd like your particular um, gaiter to provide you, as some will fit on your neck, on your head, or over your mouth, and or mini and all of the above in some cases. Uh, buffs and neck gaiters can often function like and serve uh, many purposes. So they can be used as a headband, a bandana, a baklava, and even fit under a helmet as well. Finally, you're going to want to choose the right material for your designated adventure. Um, many neck gaiters are made from a polyester fleece, but there are also wind resistant polyester fleeces available if you're looking for that option, as well as uh, different synthetic materials that primarily comprise your warm weather and UV protective options. Uh, so those are all the tips I have for you for choosing a hiking specific neck gaiter today. Um, I'd love to hear any additional tips you might have on the subject or if there's one of these you enjoyed in particular. And as always, any feedback is welcomed and encouraged uh, for you to leave in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like connecting with other outdoor enthusiasts, you should definitely consider checking out Summit. Summit is a social network that brings together adventure junkies from all around the world to exchange stories, share advice, and inspire each other. You might even make some new friends too. It's kind of like Facebook for outdoorsy people, but with better privacy, no ads, no spam, and tons of extras. You can join Summit by going to summit.theadventurejunkies.com or by clicking the link in the description below. You can find me in Summit too, so be sure to say hi when you join.